Angelo, a lot has been happening in the world of ornamental grasses here, and if you don't have them in your landscape, you better consider it. Well, they're, um, you know, they're, you're absolutely right. A lot of new varieties, all different kinds of purposes. Uh, they've been used for screening, they've mm -hmm. been using for accent, they've been using for centerpieces in beds. Privacy, you can get some that are growing this tall. Or, or even taller. Wow. Uh, so they, you know, but what's really nice about them, you can use them as you can see. Look at down all, here, we've got some shorter varieties kind of all, for accent yeah, plants, huh? Yeah, exactly. Look at the foliage yeah. color in there. And, and the color stays uh, very true. This is the uh, blue oak you grass. Got, you got variegation. You Look got, at that. You got the blood grass. You got the little zebra. Very interesting uh, stuff. You got the, you know, the taller zebra, all the panacetum. And they'll grow just about anywhere, correct? I mean, they're, they don't need full sun all day. No, they, they need about six hours of sunlight. Sure. Uh, they, they will grow into uh, even not the best of soils. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very hardy. Just, I, I would feed them uh, twice a year in the spring and in the summer. Uh, what that will do, it'll keep that real, that real deep green color. Sure. Re, whatever color the variety is, it'll keep it very sharp. That's what's really great. Excellent. About it. All right, so but, grasses yeah. here for every use you can imagine. Thanks, a lot of Angela. Choices. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.